and welcome to Cruise Week Tea Break, celebrating National Cruise Week here on the Holiday and Cruise Channel. I'm Richard Cross here every day this week to take half an hour to enjoy some delicious British tea and scones as we find out some more about your favourite cruise lines. Today we're sailing with Cruise and Maritime Voyagers, they're Britain's newest cruise line, having only launched just three years ago, but already 120,000 passengers have sailed on board their two ships, and with 95% of guests rating the enjoyment of their cruise experience either excellent or good. High praise indeed. And to tell us more, I'm joined in the studio by today's special guest, cruise expert John Cooper. Welcome, John. Thanks very much indeed, Richard. So tell me a bit more about Cruise and Maritime Voyagers. Well, as you said there, they're, uh, they're a small company. They've, uh, they've only been going three years now, but the vessels are really, really intimate. And the thing I like about that is it means that, you know, you really get to know the people on board. Uh, some of the ships, uh, some of the larger ships, you really can, you know, meet someone once and never see them again. Uh, when you're in a ship that holds eight, 900 people, you do really get to see people. And that means when you get to a port of call and what have you, and you're wandering around, you do see people from the ship. and it, it just feels a bit more, you know, we're all in it together, it's camaraderie. And also the staff get to know you as well. So, for instance, you know, after you've had a, a it's been to the bar a couple of times, you know, they'll know what you want to drink and they, they'll know how you like your steak doing, stuff like that. It's really that sort of intimacy that I really like about it. So can you tell me what's included in the fair? Well, generally what's included is obviously all your meals and, uh, you know, they're really substantial meals as well. It's things like, you know, you know, a full buffet breakfast of a morning, a lunch, a five course gourmet evening meal and uh, it's all done to British taste. It's it's a British cruise line so it's all done with you in mind. Uh, included as well as that evening uh, snacks as well. Uh, on top of that there's all the entertainment, there's cabaret every night of the week. Uh, when you're in port of course there's, uh, there's things to do. When you're not in port on the sea days, which uh, I particularly like, there's lots of things going on, there's lectures, there's, uh, there's games and things and you know if you want just relax on, on top deck you can do as well with a book it's anything you want to do as much or as little to do as you want and if you just want to watch other people do it well that's fine as well <laughs> so who are, who would you say cruise and maritimes aimed at um, I'd say it, it depends what time of year you're going at obviously in the in the lower months it's, it tends to be a more mature crowd that go uh, obviously because of holiday times and in the summer months it's it becomes more of a, a, a general sort of crowd it's uh, but I think generally if you're looking for a an intimate cruise experience and maybe a first time cruise it's an ideal opportunity and I believe there's two vessels in the fleet. There's Marco Polo, which is uh, adults only. Can you tell us a bit more about Marco Polo? Well, the Marco Polo, I say, is an adults uh, only ship, and it's, it's been the mainstay uh, of, of the two, two ships they've had. They've uh, had the Ocean Countess in as well uh, until recently, and they're, they're saying goodbye to, to, to her later on this year in October. And they're bringing in another ship, which is uh, the Discovery, which is a fantastic ship, and that's going to be taking over uh, the, the itineraries that uh, the Marco, uh, that the Ocean Countess was going to be doing next year. And uh, as I say, they're refurbishing that in the winter as well, so that's going into dry dock, so it should come out sparkling new. Well, let's step on board a cruise and maritime voyage, and Derek Marks is sailing on board Marco Polo. Now the Marco Polo boasts some very, very impressive and classic features. It's not a cruise that's full of thrills and spills and climbing frames. It's simple, luxurious elegance. So when you reach your destinations, if you don't fancy the hustle and bustle of the optional excursions, or maybe it's a place you've been to before, then there's plenty to do during the day. You can sit out on a number of these fabulous decks and just enjoy what hopefully will be some fantastic weather on your cruise and maritime voyage.
There is um, a history with cruising that it was all scheduled and organised and when the Tanai went, you went to do a feature or you went to do an activity. On here, our motto is it's all about you. If you want to make it a relaxing holiday, sit back and relax and do nothing, that's absolutely fine. If you want to have an action-packed holiday, we'll make sure that everything is catered for and there's never a dull moment on board. So people can pick and choose. Sometimes there'll be four or five activities at the same time, so there's a lot of selection and it's all about the individual. You make into the cruise what you want it to be. At the moment we're trying to put together a lot of variety on ships so when people come on the ships they can see so much uh, different entertainment on board, whether that be the production shows with the Very Talented Show Team and Live Orchestra, uh, dance classes, activity classes, workshops, uh, cabarets, spotlight cabarets, guest lecturers, craft lecturers. So we're trying to expand the range of entertainment on board uh, so each time you come back there's something new. Now then, when it comes to food on a cruise and maritime voyage, one, there is plenty of it, and two, there's a fabulous choice. There's a great atmosphere this lunchtime here in Marcos, which is a self-service buffet. Now, if you want just a simple soup and a sandwich, that's fine. If you want a salad, brilliant. It caters for everyone, and there's plenty on the hot selection as well. So, excuse me, it's time for lunch. People always think because it's a small ship, there's going to be less selection when it comes to food. Uh, with two restaurants on board, a huge menu and some very, very talented chefs creating the best food on here. Not only is there immediate choice of different variety each and every night, uh, but then there's also the option of uh, tailoring that. So if somebody had a specific dietary requirement or if they wanted just plain chicken, plain salmon, that will always be ready and ready prepared for them. But every single cruise that we do, we have passengers coming on saying how impressed they were with the food, the choice, the selection, and how many different offerings they were throughout even a short cruise. Thank you very much. Now that's one of the possibilities here on Cruise and Maritime as well. If you fancy dining al fresco, a little bit of lunch out on deck, you can. Because it's all about making your holiday as enjoyable as it can be. And although the food on board the Marco Polo is absolutely fantastic, you might just want to burn off one or two of those excess calories. Well, no problem, because it's fully equipped with a state-of-the-art gym. Now these cross trainers are actually fitted with small TVs, so I think you could probably burn off a good thousand calories in just one episode of Loose Women. Now for a ship of its size, the Marco Polo really is very well equipped. I'm in the health club and gym right now where you can take your aggression out on the punch bag, use the fairly large studio space here for things like yoga and Pilates classes, or if that's just a little bit too physical, why not go for a sport that you haven't done in a while like table tennis? And you can smash it here on the Marco Polo. And if all of that sounds a little bit too physical, well, you can always lie back, relax, while Hazel and her team work their magic here at the Jade Wellness Centre. There are a number of different treatments available, and I thoroughly recommend the massage. Derek's certainly enjoying the relaxation there. And John, that's what a cruise holiday is all about, isn't it? Relaxing on board. It certainly is relaxing on board. I don't think Derek did much of that exercise <laughs> for very long. I know Derek too well. But it is about doing what you want to do. It's whatever type of holiday you want. If you want to get involved and do lots of different activities, there is that. If you just want to sit back and say, and relax and take it easy, you could do that as well. There's also a world of opportunity to explore and some of the, the destinations, there's excursions to go on if you want to and take part in them. Or if you just want to wander around the, the, the ports as well and the great thing about cruise maritime is they go to a lot of places around Britain that you may never go to and you know you always see say, a lot of people say why go abroad I haven't seen Britain yet and you know cruise and maritime voyages do a lot of round Britain cruising as well so it's a real opportunity to see places and go to places that you may never have been before. Well we'll be back on board Marco Polo plus speaking more with John Cooper in just a few minutes after we take this quick break stay with us.
Hello and welcome back to Cruise Week Tea Break. We're celebrating National Cruise Week here at the Holiday and Cruise Channel and it's great to have you with us. Now let me just tell you that if you're new to cruising then our first time guide to cruise holidays has been designed with you in mind. It answers all the common questions we get asked, questions on visas, luggage allowance, tipping and much more. If you'd like a copy just give us a call on 0871 423 4444. Calls cost 10 p a minute from a BT landline and calls from other networks and mobiles may vary. You can also request a copy through our website at www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk. Back to today's tea break and cruise expert John Cooper is still with me. John, can you tell me where can we sail from with Cruise and Maritime Voyages? The great thing about Cruise and Maritime Voyages is there's a, the choice of uh, ports that you can do. Uh, for this year, for the first time, they're going from Avonmouth, so for people in the southwest, in the Bristol and the South Wales area, absolutely fantastic opportunity for them. Uh, there's also uh, from Liverpool as well. Uh, they also go uh, from all, uh, all the other side of the country as well, like uh, uh, Leith from Edinburgh, uh, Newcastle, Hull, Tilbury, the t port for London, and also Harwich as well. So there really is a great choice of ports to go to, no matter where you live in the UK. You're really within about an hour's drive of you know where you, where you can sail from. So that's really handy from where we are in the UK. It is, and the, the great thing about sailing from the UK is that there's no luggage allowance. It's, it's not like you you know you've got 20 kilos and restricted and things like that, and one case and that sort of thing. You've got a lot more freedom of what luggage you can take. So when we sail from one of our regional uh, cruise ports, where can we go to with cruise and maritime? Well, that's the best thing of it all. There's so much choice. As I said before, they do a lot of round Britain cruises, which are great around the, the Scottish Islands and what have you in the Highlands and there. Uh, but also the Norwegian fields, absolutely sp spectacular to see and great at certain times of the year as well. Uh, they also go into the northern waters around Scandinavia and Russia. And, you know, to go to places like St. Petersburg and Tallinn, uh, places that a few years ago, you know, you just couldn't have really have gone to. But now it's so accessible. And then they go into the southern waters as well, to the Canary Islands and touch into the Med as well. It depends on the time of year and uh, the, the cruise itinerary. But uh, what it says, have a look around, choose the cruise you want and the length you want, because they do from th one, two, three nighters, which are like exp chance to experience your cruise, or a nice long one as well. And um, because they sail from the UK, is it fair to say that the majority of passengers on board are British? Yeah, it is. It's uh, very much so. As I say, it's a British cruise line and so sells predominantly in Britain. There may be one or two uh, other nationalities on, but it's predominantly, I'd say, 99% will be British on board. So therefore, all the entertainment's in, Brit in English and uh, and on board, the, the spending is it's all in pounds sterling, which means, you know, you're not converting all the time. And of course, have we got shops on board that we can uh, spend some money in? Well, it'd be a shame not to do a bit of retail therapy, wouldn't it? Uh, it's, it's part of the experience as well. And obviously, there's duty-free shopping on board as well, which means you, know, you can save yourself a, a couple of bob of uh, prices back home. Well, let's head back on board Marco Polo, where Derek Marks is exploring the accommodation, shopping and evening entertainment. Now, I think you'll really enjoy the intimate feel of the Marco Polo. With only around about 850 passengers, it feels really, really intimate, and you'll soon be making lots of new friends. In saying that, there are plenty of spaces to move around, so if you want just a quiet cocktail with your friends or family before dinner, you might choose the Columbus Lounge, which is bright, light and sophisticated. And don't think it's a rushed pace of life on board cruise and maritime. There's plenty of time and spaces to relax too. If you get into a port and just fancy staying on board, why not just take in either the daily news or get the brain cells going with the daily crossword. And I bet you're wondering about the accommodation. Well, there's certainly plenty of choice, as cruise director Gareth Cole explains. Accommodation on the ships, um, many people are very worried about. They see how many passengers you get on a ship and they automatically think very small tin boxes. There's 12 different grades of cabins on board, so if you're happy just to have a, a very basic room, that's available to you. However, we have that all the way up to de deluxe suites, which have got sitting rooms, uh, very large open spaces in there. And you can choose if you want an inside cabin and an outside cabin, so those who don't want to see the water, who are a bit nervous about sailing, that option's there for them. And those who want to actually get the ocean views, that's an option for them as well. And the good thing is now for people who have a, a specific cabin that they always like, they can request these cabins when they book, or they can come down for an event for an open day to come actually look at the facilities and the cabins on board without even taking a cruise. And cover your ears, gents, because there's plenty of opportunity for shopping on the Marco Polo as well. There's a boutique, ladies, for your ball gowns and gents for your suits. There's also duty-free, there's watches, there's jewellery, and everything you need for a fantastic trip.
Now, of course, we all know a cruise holiday is great for getting away from it all, but here on the Marco Polo, you can keep in touch as well. There's a really well-equipped net centre here as well, so you can send your emails, check on your stocks and shares, and see what's going on back in the UK. Now, a cruise and maritime voyage is a popular choice for those people who've never been on a cruise before, and indeed seasoned travellers too. And I can see why. The ship's at a good size, and it doesn't take too long to navigate it. It's clean, it's comfortable, and for us fussy Brits, well, you know what? It's got it all. Well, we've seen what the Marco Polo has to offer during the day, but what about the evening entertainment? Well, let's go. But to go to dinner, can't go dressed like this. Give me a second. Ah, <sighs> that's better. Right, I'm all ready. Ah, forgot to mention, tonight's a formal night, so it's best bib and tucker for everybody. Talking to tucker, what's up for dinner? Let's find out, and let's see these fabulous shows on board Marco Polo. Come on. The evening starts with pre-dinner drinks in the elegant Captain's Club and then it's into the Waldorf restaurant for dinner. Now there's a real understated elegance here with its attractive stained glass dome and Asian artwork. Dinner is served over two seatings, 6 o'clock and 8.15. There's a wide selection of starters, mains and desserts as well as vegetarian and healthy options. One thing the Marco Polo prides itself on is keeping to British cruising traditions, especially when it comes to the spectacular Baked Alaska Parade. After dinner, it's straight to the Marco Polo Lounge for the evening's entertainment. And tonight, the show team pay tribute to the music of Queen. I see a little silhouette of a man Scaramouche, Scaramouche, when it's in the front and go And the boat is winding, very, very winding me Galileo, 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 Galileo Oh boy, nobody loves me what we're having at the moment is passengers are finding because it's a smaller ship, uh, the smaller ships uh, tend to be more uh, intimate for people to get to know the entertainment team so they like the fact they can talk to the entertainers after the shows rather than see them on stage and never see them again. Uh, because we all multitask and do different things, you'll see your wellness host up on stage tap dancing. The next day you'll see your show team out on tours with you chatting to you. So passengers love the fact that you can mix and mingle with all of the staff and it's a very friendly family atmosphere. Elsewhere on the ship and the captain's club is the place to relax and unwind with the resident pianist and violinist. While in Scott's bar, cabaret, karaoke, quizzes and a disco take you late into the night. Assistant cruise director Andy is hosting Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Marco Polo is this week enjoying a nine-night voyage exploring northern France and Spain. Now, John, we saw Derek looking very dapper on board very there. <laughs> now, can you tell me, obviously it's nice to dress up for a couple of formal nights, but what's, the, uh, what's it like on board? Well, the dress code uh, generally is... Uh, 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 of an evening, it's different uh, on different nights. Uh, they do have a couple of formal evenings, so it depends on the length of the cruise, to be honest with you. Uh, in a, a two-week cruise, you may have two or three uh, formal nights, uh, where basically it's, it's dress up. Now, if you want to take part in it, it's great. If you don't, that's fine as well. There's another restaurant you, you can go, go and eat in, but in the main restaurant, there is the dress code. Um, and, you know, it's basically, you know, if you're in a shirt and tie for a gen and a jacket for a gentleman, that's fine. For the ladies, it's, you know, a nice evening gown or just a, a, a nice dress. Uh, generally, of, a, of an evening, the dress code is, well, this, like I'm now with maybe a jacket on, would be fine for most nights. It's not 
stuffy uh, in, in that way at all. But I think, you know, for the couple of nights that you do dress up, it, it's really nice and, it, you know, it makes you feel good as well. It does, doesn't it? Now, you mentioned there about food before. Can you tell me about the food on board? Oh, the food, uh, it just keeps coming at you. <laughs> uh, it really does. Uh, the, the great thing about it is it's because it's a British cruise line, the food is aimed firmly at the British market. And what that means is, I mean, you know, if you, as I said before, going around, maybe around Russia or places like that, you know, we've all heard about Russian hotels and what the food's like in a Russian hotel. Well, what it means is you can actually go and visit Russia, enjoy all the sights and sounds, but come back to a British hotel, if you like, <laughs> at the end of the day and, you know, have roast beef and Yorkshire pudding and, and whatever you like sort of thing. So it's that of an evening, it is a five course gourmet evening meal and it really is. It's one of those things and I always start off, you know, the first night I'll have the five courses and then the second night, well, I'll, I'll cut one of those courses out and, you, you know, by the end of the cruise, you, you know, you're down to, you know, what you'd normally be eating it, but they, they just keep, you know, the food is of such good quality, it really is. It's what they pride themselves in, really. Uh, of a morning as well, you know, as I said before, it's buffet breakfast, so, you know, if you just want cornflakes, something like that, you can, you can have that, but if you want to go for the full English, no matter where you are in the world, you can have the full English as well, it's there for you. Now, one of the things I look forward to is the evening entertainment. Can you tell us about that on board? Yeah, I mean, what they have is they have a great on-board team. They really do. Uh, they're, they really are a very, very professional uh, bunch. And it's led by the, the cruise director. And uh, the cruise director is on cruise amount of time. I, I actually know them personally. They're really, really very talented people. And they, they sort of keep the whole atmosphere of the ship moving along. And you see the whole of the entertainment crew around the ship as well. It's strange that when you go anywhere else and you, you see a fabulous show, you know, the, you, you never see the other people from that show again. But when you get on a cruise line, of course, they're on the ship's so you see them around during the day and they'll be hosting other activities as well. So it, 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 they're like friends, they, they really are. And it, it just brings, you know, it's like having talented friends, you know. And you think, how come I've, all my friends are so talented and I'm not? It, it gives you that sort of thing. But no, it's, it's a great, great atmosphere and they build the atmosphere on board as well. Well, National Cruise Week continues throughout the week here on the Holiday and Cruise Channel. And if you've missed one of our tea break specials, just head online to our website at www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk where you can watch them again in full. My thanks to cruise expert John Cooper and thanks for you for watching. I'll see you again soon.